you clicked on this video, we either have a problem or you're incredibly self-aware. And I'm really hoping it's that you're incredibly self-aware. The industry has captivated your consciousness and you have been hypnotized. Thankfully, you're not alone. There's so many people that are out here dealing with this completely unknowing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how the self-help industry has absolutely infiltrated your mind, your consciousness, and your train of thought. Let's get into it. So there are countless YouTube channels out there that post self-help content. You watch my content, your life will get better. Now, a lot of these creators have good intentions and they do want you to get better. But there are so many creators that post simply because it's their job. What do they care about? Money, your view time retention, their likes, their comments, because what does it become? A business. So what does this lead to? This leads to you being conditioned to think that consuming videos is what's going to help you create a better life for yourself. When that can't be any farther from the truth. Now I do appreciate your viewership, but I will always tell you how it is. I'll tell you what you need to hear, not what I want you to hear. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to here. So you've been programmed essentially all, over all this time that, oh, I just need to keep watching the self-help videos and so I get smarter, so I get better, so I know more, so that I can live my life better. This is literally doing nothing but shooting yourself in the foot. The truth of the matter is that I didn't get here by watching videos. None of these 10, 20 million dollar houses I'm looking at, the owners got there by watching self-help videos. Self-help videos are simply for people that feel like shit about themselves and they need a quick antidote, a quick little magic pill to make them briefly feel better and tell them that their problems aren't real, that their problems are insignificant. The reason you're feeling pain is because you are not living up to your potential. You're not fulfilling your purpose. You're consuming way more than you're producing. And until you flip the narrative to production more than consumption, you're gonna be feeling this. So overwatching self-help leads to a series of events and they're all unpleasant and you keep wondering, why am I not feeling good? I'm watching the videos, I'm going to the gym, I'm cold showering, I'm sauna, I'm eating good, all this shit. And you're wondering, why am I still not happy? Why am I still stuck? Why am I not making enough money? The truth is self-help does nothing but lead you to overanalyzing your life. That's really all it does. You're not gonna be able to look at pizza the same. You're not gonna be able to enjoy fries. So now you're being over analytical about everything. And I'm not saying just go indulge in fast food. Obviously you have to have a balance to everything, but you're watching all these people and you're over stimulating your brain to the point where you can't even understand what your own thought process is because everyone that you're watching is jurisdicting your opinion. How are you supposed to understand yourself, live a better life when you don't even understand what life you want to live because you're basing your definition of a successful, happy life off of somebody else's. So then this directly leads you to not enjoying your life because you're being so over analytical about every little thing that you're doing. How are you supposed to have fun when you're like, oh man, I have to do monk mode. I can't go out tonight, bro. It's, it's, it's monk season, bro. I have so much to do. I gotta grind. I gotta watch more YouTube. I gotta do all this miscellaneous, tedious rather than working smart. You're working so hard and you're not working smart. That's why you're stuck. Ultimately, you're looking for ways to feel better about your current situation, looking for an antidote, like I said, rather than just doing what you know you need to do. People ask me all the time, yo, how do I get a six pack? How do I get rich? You wanna get a six pack, do sit-ups. You wanna get jacked, go to the gym, work out harder. You wanna get rich, find one thing, work hard, work smart, learn sales, learn psychology, and then that's how you build a business. That's how you get rich. You're not gonna get rich by watching self-help. You're not gonna get rich by getting a corporate job like all these self-help people are telling to do. You're going to get rich by providing value to yourself and to the world. And how you're going to do that is by living a fulfilling life, learning what's important, not just all this miscellaneous self-help takes 15 minutes of your time to watch. Spend five minutes reading a book and I guarantee you'll learn more valuable information in a book than you will on YouTube. And I'm not saying this to bash all the self-help YouTubers because a lot of them have good intentions and have very valuable content, but it's literally just like anything. It's like gambling, it's like alcohol. It's your relationship with it. So many of you guys are just consuming, consuming, consuming and not taking any action, waiting for the perfect moment. When the truth is, the perfect moment will never come. So if you're seeing this video, this is your sign. Turn off your phone, stop scrolling and Figure out what you need to do. Figure out that one thing you want to go all in. Go all in on it and stop just consuming, consuming, consuming. Every day, at the end of every day, ask yourself, did I consume more today or did I produce more today? Because if you're consuming more than you are producing every day, which 99% of Americans are, you're gonna be in the same place. You're not gonna live the life that you desire to live because you're just consuming. We live in a consumer world and you need to be the producer in a consumer world. That's truly the only way you'll get to where you want to get. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it has the potential to change your life if you implement what I was talking about. It's time to get to the next level, bro. Seriously.